Honorable Sri Derev Obrain. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I, I rise here to uh, support this bill, but through you, sir, a uh, gentle message to the minister, a caveat, in fact, to dwell just on one point, and that is tail wags the dog. Tail wags the dog simply means an item of minor importance can suddenly become very, very important. And we don't want that to happen with this amendment. And the specific amendment I'm referring to, there was a lot of talk today, and it's very nice that there was so much talk on uh, differently abled and uh, the different words. So I will not dwell on that, because uh, much has been spoken on that subject. But on the second amendment, which is to do with the school management committees and their role in minority institutions. And I would be slightly biased here, maybe, because I would mainly be referring to uh, all minority institutions, but a little more so maybe by the hundreds of popular and uh, hallowed institutions run by the Christian missionaries across the country, where so many of us send our children and so many of our grandfathers send their children. The issue here, sir, is this is how it works as per the new amendment, or it's supposed to work, and that's why I said tail wags the dog. There is an advisory function which the school managements will now have as per this new am amendment. There will be the advisory function and the school management as per the new bill it compri will comprise elected representatives of the local authority, parents and guardians of children admitted to the schools, and three-fourths of these members should be the parents and guardians, 50% women. Very good. The issue here is about the, not about the composition of the uh, school management committee, which has an advisory role. I would like to, through you, sir, share with the minister a concern, and it is a genuine concern, where this is what it will sub perhaps work out like. We have a minority, there is a minority school run by the mi management committee of that minority school. Then we have a school management committee, as I just described, okay, with local representatives, etc., etc. Now, when this body, management committee, starts advising the school management committee, which is only run by the minority institutions, let me for, be a little pessimistic and assume they make over a period of two or three years five or six different recommendations. Every one of those recommendations are thrown out, let's say, by the school run by the Jesuits or by the Silesians or for, or for that matter by any order. This may become an issue of major conflict because we do not know then how this will manifest itself, whether the dog will be wagging the tail or the tail will be wagging the dog. Sir, with these few words and this one single concern, I thought it would be my duty to share this concern in the implementation of this with the rest of the House. Thank you, sir. Thank you.